Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Engineering Forum. Today we are going to see something about the topic spring under the subject water supply and sanitary engineering. The topic spring is basically connected with the subject hydrology where we will be studying two different questions. First is what is a spring and second one is what are the different types of spring. So in this case we will be having a detailed discussion regarding these two questions which will clear all your doubts regarding this topic. And uh, so now we'll be moving towards the first question which is what is a spring? The natural outflow of groundwater on the surface of the earth is known as spring. Here I have shown a real photograph of a spring and uh, this is one of the very common type of spring where groundwater naturally comes on the surface of the earth and gets accumulated or even it may start flowing. But the thing what we need to know here is why does this groundwater start to flow on the surface of the earth? So for this, I have shown a figure of the common type of a spring over here, which shows that the pervious layer sandwiched between two impervious layers gives rise to the natural spring. So this becomes the technical reason why the spring occurs due to some natural process. So here it is shown that a pervious layer is sandwiched between two impervious layer. And we know that a pervious layer allows the water to pass through it, which an impervious layer doesn't. So in this way, water is not allowed to flow in this top and the bottom layer, while it can only flow through the middle layer. So it gets pressurized and whenever it gets the space to move towards the surface of the earth, it finds its way and a spring is obtained, where this type of uh, spring is known as artesian spring. And this will be seeing in detail in our second question that is what are the types of spring. But uh, before that we will complete our first question that is what is a spring. So our next point is this water may contain some types of salt and minerals. So as we know that this water has been underground since many years. So some salts and minerals have been mixed in this naturally. Water can be treated to make it drinkable. So due to excess of these salts and minerals, we cannot intake this water directly. To make it drinkable, we need to make some treatment on this. This becomes the quality of water and if we talk about the quantity of water available in the spring, the quantity of water available is very small and is suitable for water supply in hilly region. So we cannot expect uh, much outflow of water for consumers, but obviously we can treat some hilly region around the spring. Here again I have shown a real picture of a spring where water has been accumulated in a form of lake but this water has not came from the rain and it is a spring water that is obtained from the ground. So then we'll move on to our next question that is what are the types of spring. So basically spring is divided into or we can say it is classified into three different types where first and the most common is artesian spring what we saw the figure of in the beginning then gravity spring and the third one is surface spring. So we'll be moving towards the first type of spring that is artesian spring. Here we already have discussed regarding this figure. When a pervious layer is sandwiched between two impervious layers in form of a valley, then the spring obtained is called a artesian spring. So here the pervious layer is sandwiched between two impervious layer and water starts to move towards the surface of the earth due to this valley. So basically this is the cross sectional area of a valley where this water has been pressurized due to the central V portion of a valley where due to pressure this water finds its way to move towards the surface and this becomes the artesian spring. So not always the water which has been accumulated near valley has been came from rain but sometimes it also have been obtained from artesian spring. Then the second type of spring is gravity spring. Here I have shown a figure. Gravity spring is obtained when the water table rises along the hill slope and water finds a path on the slope through which it flows under gravity. So here I have shown a hilly region where water table is over here, this dotted line. So naturally in rainy season this water table rises on this hilly slope. And uh, sometimes it may so happen that this water may come outside the hill and starts to flow due to the gravity downwards. And this becomes a gravity spring. Discharge of water from such a spring is variable as water table may rise or fall depending upon the season. 
that is the outflow of this water completely depends upon the season as this water table is dependent on the rainfall a trench is excavated just below the spring to tap water so here i have shown a trench which is excavated by us in order to accumulate this water whenever it comes out of this boundary then the third and the last type of spring is surface spring surface spring comes into existence when subsoil water forms a storage due to the presence of impervious layer in form of a valley so sometimes this subsoil water naturally gets accumulated on the hill due to the presence of this impervious layer and this natural accumulation of water is due to the geometry of this impervious layer and we can even construct a cut off wall over here to make a reservoir from where we can directly supply the water to the consumer a cut off wall constructed on the impervious layer to form a reservoir from where water is supplied to the consumer so this is the way how we can collect this subsoil water and supply it to the consumer so friends this was all about the topic springs under the subject water supply and sanitary engineering and thank you for watching